What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, working at the library. Mm, yeah, I worked there for six years. And, well, my first job was at a video game store called Game X. They sold... Man, this was back when the PS1 was all about, like, pirating. Uh, excuse me. And you would basically get a mod chip in your PS1... And you never had to fucking buy games again. You could just have bootleg games for five bucks and shit. Well, at that time, it had just started coming out. So there were businesses like GameX that would just openly sell bootlegged games. Just like one, just a case full of bootlegged games. And I worked at that place under the table for a while. That was my first job. Uh, ouch. And then, after that, that wasn't even really a real job, but after that, I started working at the library. And I worked there for six years, but uh, about <clears throat> maybe three or four years into working at the library, uh, I... Oh yeah, I remember now. So, in 2004... That was a couple years into working at the library. I went to, you know, this whole time I played a lot of Soul Calibur. I went to France for the World Tournament. And, you know, like, I, I was just really into fighting games at this time, right? So then it was like when I was 19 or 20 years old, they announced that they were coming out with the Tekken 5.0 arcade version, right? And I really wanted, I wanted that, you know? And I, I was like, man, you know what? I'm going to fucking buy the arcade board. I'm going to get another job, and I'm going to just use... You know, work that job to buy the arcade board for uh, Tekken 5.0. So I hit up my, my buddy at the time he worked at uh, Namco. His name was Jason Arney. He doesn't work there anymore, but he worked there for several years after that. Um, WC Maxi. I hit him up and I was like, hey man, you know, I want to buy the board, hook a brother up. So they set it up and it was on my credit card. It was already charged. I got a job. The second job that I got was as a dispatcher for a taxi cab company. So, like, when people needed a taxi, they would call and I'd answer the phone and I'd schedule the pickup. So, I got that job. I worked at that job for a while. And they put the, the board on my credit card. It was like a done deal. They were like, all right, it's good to go. So, it was like $5,000. Or something like that. Already charged on my credit card by Namco Bandai, Arcade Division, whatever. And right before they sent, they shipped it out to me, Castell, who at the time ran Tekken Zaibatsu. Castell, he hit me up and he was like, Eris, don't buy the board. The game is going to come out on PlayStation 2 in like two months. Don't do it. And I immediately called uh, WC Maxi and I was like, cancel the order. My dog's girlfriend died and I can't afford it. I got to cancel the order. And then they canceled it and the game came out two months later on PS2. Fucking Lord Castell saved my ass. And I quit the job too. Like, man, what the fuck do I want this shitty job for if I'm not paying for a, a arcade board? So I quit that job, and I had a bunch of smackaroos saved up, which I didn't end up using for anything. So what I did was, I used those smackaroos to buy a bunch of these different arcade sticks and mod them. So that's what I ended up doing with that. And among, well, you know, I wasted it too. At the time, I was all about wasting money. <laughs> I've become far more frugal in my old age, that's for sure.